Boom yeah. And what is up awesome people? So in case you get a new radio and you're new to Express LRS and you want to find out ways and means to have your drone bound to your radio and get ready to fly as soon as you can. This is uh, six easy steps to Express LRS and I hope that you guys find this information useful. <laughs> Express LRS is a 2.4 GHz protocol radio that's similar to your Free Sky, Futaba, and if you are one to seek an upgrade or in a sense something different, then this is the protocol for you. Firstly, by no means I'm no expert in Express LRS. If you do want to find more information and technical data, do go into the Express LRS Facebook group, GitHub, or the Express LRS webpage. All the links can be found in the description box down below. I'm not going to be teaching you anything. I'm just going to share with you my experiences and hope that you get yourself in the air as soon as you can. So there are a few new radios out there with the Express LRS protocol and maybe you have one of those and this is a step for you to take to get into Express LRS. As I mentioned earlier, there are six easy steps to follow. Step 1. Download the Express LRS configurator and do download the latest version. Step 2. Another thing that you need to understand is that there are a few versions of Express LRS, which is the V2 and the V3. A V2 will work with V2 point something something. Likewise, as long as there's a 2, it will work with any other 2 point somethings. And V3 works with V3 point something something so on and so forth. If you have your drone in V2 point something and your radio is in V3, especially the newer ones, it all comes with V3 point something, it will not work. So you need to update that drone to V3 point something before you are able to get both your radio and your drone to communicate. Update your radio or Express LRS module. You can do this via Wi-Fi through the Express LRS configurator. Or you could just plug your radio or Express LRS module and update it through the plugin. And once you're done, you need to download the Lua script that's on the Express LRS configurator. And this, you have to save it into your radio because the Lua script is a program that you want to use, especially for Express LRS. Which brings us to step three. You need to update your drone or quadcopter. For those with the external receivers, it's a straightforward procedure. Just update it by Wi-Fi on the Express LRS configurator. Or for those of you who are flying tiny whoops and micros with the receiver built in, then you need to understand if this is a UWAT receiver or is this an SPI receiver. A UWAT receiver is one that has a receiver built in a UWAT as compared to an SPI receiver where the receiver is built onto a chip. SPI meaning Serial Peripheral Interface. For the flashing method, you can use via UWAT or you can use via Wi-Fi. I would recommend doing by Wi-Fi. If that doesn't work, then do it by better flight pass-through. So for those tiny whoops and micros with SPI receiver, you gotta go onto the Happy Model website and look for hex file on the search bar and find the similar flight controller or drone that you're using and click on it. Then there you'll find the hex file and also the dump file where after flashing with the hex file, you're gonna copy the dump file and go into better flight, go into the CLI tab and paste that dump file into the CLI bar and click enter. I've done a video for flashing of the hex file so it's in the link down below under hex file so do check that out. So the radio has already been updated and your drone has already been updated. The next step is for you to check on your packet rates and you can get this by turning on your radio and going to your Lua script. I have it my I have mine in the firmware. And here it is, it is ELRS V3 Lua as I am on V3. Press and hold to execute. 
And there we have my packet rate set at 500 Hz, telemetry ratio at 1 is to 4, switch mode hybrid, model match off, sometimes you have to have it on, depends on the quad, and TX power set to 100 milliwatt. That notification you saw was my arm button, and it's there. Next, we go to the drone itself. Now, on the drone, to ensure that you have the quad in 500 Hz, what you're going to do is you're going to go into Better Flight and go into your CLI, and you're going to type set express LRS rate index equals to 0 for 500 Hz. Now, sometimes when you type in set express LRS, there is a pop-up notification for you to choose. Just choose the one that you're going to be using, which is in this sense express LRS rate index equals to 0 for 500 Hz. 1 for 250 Hz, 2 for 150 Hz, and 3 for 50 Hz. Now there's a couple of methods of binding for your drone. If you have a happy model drone which has an SPI receiver, then you'll want to download the hex file from the happy model website and flash the flight controller with that hex file before copying the dump file into the CLI in Betaflight. So once the flashing is done, you want to go into better flight and there you will check that the receiver is SPIRX and then click bind receiver. And on your radio, what you're going to do is you are going to open up your Lua script and click bind. Another one is by passphrase and this one's specific to UART receivers. So if you have the passphrase, it will auto bind on its own. And if that doesn't work, you could just do the basic three plug method, plug in your LiPo wait for the light to go off, unplug, plug in again, wait for the light to go off, unplug, and plug in for the third time and leave it there. And that will put the flight controller into binding mode and then go to your radio, open up the Express LRS Lua script and click bind. That will set both the binding procedure for your quad and your radio. And finally, we come to the last step. So you have your drone bound and everything is supposed to go well but for some strange reason when you plug in your drone telemetry recovered. you have the telemetry notification which is a good sign it means you're bound but and disarmed and disarmed for some strange reason and disarmed and that's not happening so what you're going to do is you're going to look into your Lua script and you're going to go into model mismatch as you can see from the top left hand corner it says model mismatch that's a model mismatch notification you're going to go into model mismatch and turn it either on or off it is because of the update of the version that you're using so that's why it has this and once that is done and you're good to go disarmed. all right so that's basically it and if the information confuses you please feel free to comment down below or you could join our discord channel where there are awesome people who are really really helpful I have a playlist set down below in the description box. Please do take a look in case you have any questions or queries. Please feel free to just drop in the comment. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys find this information useful. Please do give a like and subscribe. It will really, really help us a lot. And if you want me to subscribe back, please drop your video links or your channel link in the comments below. Till the next one, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao.